Hi, I'm Kyle Harris with FitCore, Focused Intense Training Corporations. You can reach me at battersbox at yahoo.com or follow me on Instagram or Twitter at HossJob. I was going to do a video today on branched chain amino acids and how you can use them to round out incomplete protein sources during meals. However, during, uh, during my training today, I realized I had my Carbolin shirt on and I've been making a lot of posts about uh, carbohydrates and keto diets and uh, keto seems to be the rage and those of you that know me I'm totally not against keto diets but I think people are being short-sighted on the benefits of carbohydrates so I thought I'd talk briefly about why we need to use carbohydrates even when we're trying to lose weight. Now um, I've got my carbol in here actually uh, drinking that post-workout carb source with um, some protein And one of the reasons I choose Carbolin is because um, I trust EFX products. Um, they're wonderful. Carbolin tastes amazing, and it's a high-performance carbohydrate that works better than just about any other carbohydrate I've tried out there. Now, the reason I'm talking to you about carbohydrates and their benefits are because a lot of people are jumping on the keto bandwagon, which is great. That's fine. Really, there's no one way to diet that's better than the other. It's just what works for you and your lifestyle what's going to work for you long term. If you're not going to be able to stick with ketosis for more than 10 or 15 days, it's not beneficial. If you're going to be having cheat meals or carb ups every week, it's, it's not going to do what you want it to do. You're better off using carbohydrates. If you can do it for long term, 6, 8, 12 weeks, wonderful. But you have to understand there's also a rebound after a ketogenic diet that you have to be aware of. You can't go zero carbohydrates for 6, 12, 18, 24 weeks or longer and then think you can just start eating carbohydrates back to what you're normally doing. Going from 20 carbs a day from incidental sources or fiber sources and then jumping to 220 grams of carbohydrates is going to be a recipe to set yourself up for some rebound and some fat gain. Or even if you don't gain fat, you're going to see the scale jump up and for some people that's enough to throw them off mentally and then they just get thrown off the bandwagon or they get they fall off the wagon altogether so when you're going to jump or start into a diet i really think it's important that you still utilize carbohydrates the research is plenty and bountiful that shows that carbohydrates post workout when you're training hard replenishes glycogen and it sets you up for more intense exercise sessions afterwards so if you train hard on monday and you're trying to lose weight, it's all about that calorie burn, trying to create a deficit. You're gonna to wanna to train hard on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you need to have some glycogen in the tank. Using something like Carbol and post-workout is a wonderful way to have carbohydrates stored as muscle glycogen, not stored as fat, but stored as a fuel source so you have those things ready to go for your next exercise session so you can have the intensity you need to create a caloric deficit. If you're just going to the gym, walking on the treadmill, ho-humming about, not training hard, sure, you don't need those carbohydrates, but if you're doing that, you're also not going to create enough of a caloric burn to create a deficit to lose the weight that you want to lose. Furthermore, if you're a performance athlete and you want to increase performance, whether it's something like the 200 meter run, the mile, ultra endurance events like triathlons or marathons, or if you're playing team sports that have require sprint intervals like basketball, soccer, football, or baseball, you need a carbohydrate source. Doing low carbohydrates on those kinds of activities are going to decrease your performance, even if your goal is to lose weight. So by having a carbohydrate to fuel your body, you're going to perform better, you're going to be able to exercise more intensely, thus you're going to be able to create a more of a caloric deficit, and if your goal is weight loss, you're going to lose weight because of that deficit. Now, as carbohydrates decrease, those carbohydrates and get lower because you want to lose weight, so maybe now you're not doing 250, 300 carbs, you're down to 100, 150. Those carbohydrates around your workout are even more important than before. So something like Carbolin is going to even be a greater benefit to you before, during, or after your workout. So I just want you to keep in mind that zero-carbohydrate diets are not going to be something that you want to do for long-term sustained success or long-term health. If you're looking for performance and weight loss, you need to fuel yourself with some carbohydrates, whether that's from something like Carbolin or whether it's from a whole food source like blueberries or sweet potato or rice. You need to have something that's going to fuel you through your workouts. You can train intensely and you need something that's going to give you and replenish glycogen so you have the energy for your subsequent training sessions. 
I hope this was uh, beneficial for you. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, hit me up at Hoss Job on Instagram or Twitter. Follow me on Facebook, uh, Kyle Harris, or email me at battersbox at yahoo.com. Thank you.